A number with a radix r is represented by a string of digits, uh, something like this. Uh, here, a sub n minus 1, a sub n minus 2, those uh, subscripts represent a different uh, digit. Uh, so, radix r, uh, number system, has r different uh, digits. Uh, so, a0 through a n minus 1, those are r different digits. Uh, and there is a, a dot and then another string of digits. So, so before the dot, the left hand side is called integer portion. The right side of the dot radix point is called a, a fraction portion. And the value of this number is dependent upon radix and then it could be represented as a power series, uh, this one. So a0, the value of A0 is uh, whatever A0, the digit represents times uh, weight in that position. Weight in that position is uh, R to the 0th power. And the A1 is whatever the A1 digit represents. Then the value of uh, this one is uh, multiplying its weight. Weight is uh, R to the 1st power. For example, in a decimal number system, suppose we have a uh, 23.4 then the 3 here represent uh, the value 3 from digits uh, and then the position is a uh, first position to the r left of the radix position which is a uh, radix 10 and then its power is 0 to power and then 2 here is the value of 2 is 2 and the weight of that position is uh, 10 to the first power. So 20 is a value of uh, this place. Uh, and then 4 here represents uh, 4 times uh, radix 10. The position is uh, after the radix point. So negative 1 is exponent for that. So 2, 3.4 represent the value of 2 times 10 to the 1 plus 3 times 10 to the 0 plus 4 times 10 to the negative 1. So that's how our number with the radix system represent in, in general. Here is a representation and here is a value for that. So in decimal number system, a radix is 10, so with 10 different digits, uh, 0 through 9. In binary number system, we have uh, two digits, 0 and 1. Those two are two digits in binary number system. Here is uh, some special powers of 2. And 2 to the 10, 2 to the 20th, uh, 2 to the 30th, and 2 to the 40th, uh, they are called as kilo, mega, giga, and tera. But as you know, in science, uh, we have a different value for kilo, mega, and giga. Uh, in, in science, uh, kilo means uh, 10 to the 3, which is uh, 1,000. But the special power of 2, 2 to the 10 is 10,024. So mega in science is 10 to the sixth power which is exactly one million but here the special powers of the two to the twentieth is a uh, slightly over one million so those are kmgt the scaling factor for size of a memory system in computer so in an in computer memory one megabyte does not mean one million bytes uh, but it means uh, two to the twentieth uh, Bytes, which is more than 1 million. So only for uh, computer system memories uh, we use uh, those uh, scaling factors, but others uh, in uh, science uh, we use uh, the kilo mega differently. In binary number we can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and those are things are similar to a decimal number system. So in a single bit binary addition, when there is no carry in, Z represents the carry in, when there is no carry in, the two numbers X and Y, single bit, we have uh, this result. Uh, but in presence of a carry in, then the results are something like this. Uh, you can easily do this uh, comparing with the decimal arithmetic. So if we have a multiple bit binary addition, 
Then as we do exactly the same way in decimal number system, we add uh, from the rightmost position called the least significant bit. So here in the second case, uh, uh, if we add uh, those two binary numbers, uh, the least significant bit we have a 0 and the 1. So sum is a 1 and there is no carry. In second position, we didn't get any carry from previous position yet. So we simply add the 1 and 1. Then result is 0 and the we forward the carry to the next position. So in third position, we add the 1 and 1 in addition to carry in 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1, the result is 1 and the we do carry over to the next position and so on. So we do multiple bit binary addition uh, in this way, which is uh, very similar to decimal number system. So subtraction is a similar to binary as uh, decimal number as well. So we, when there is no borrow, then 0 minus 1, we have a 1 as a result, but we have a borrow. In presence of a borrow, this is the result. So if we do multiple bit binary subtraction, the second case uh, if, uh, is a 0 minus 1. Since a 0 minus 1, we need a borrow, so we get borrow, and then result is 1. And so on, we just proceed uh, as if uh, uh, very similar to decimal number system. Multiplication is uh, quite uh, simple. We have only four cases uh, in the multiplication table. 0 times 0, 1 times 0, 0 times 1, and 1 times 1. Like a decimal number system, we multiply 1 by 1 to get the partial product. Uh, and then uh, with the partial products, uh, column-wise, uh, we add uh, them through to get the final product. Uh, so remember how you do decimal numbers for multiplication. Just apply that uh, for binary numbers, uh, very similar to that. And these are uh, values of uh, power of 2. So when exponents uh, varies from 0 to 21, those are equivalent to de decimal values. Uh, I strongly encourage you to memorize uh, when the uh, exponent is 0 through 10. So 2 to the 10 is 1024, 2 to the 6 is 64, and so on. So those are very frequently used in uh, a digital system. So I strongly encourage you to memorize uh, uh, the values uh, of a special case of a power of 2. Converting from binary to decimal uh, is uh, based on the how number system is represented. Uh, for example, if we have a 11010 in binary number, then how do we get decimal equivalent value? Then what you need to do is uh, for each position in binary number system, what is the weight for that? Weight is determined by the radix to the power of uh, the position. So the very first one on the left uh, is uh, uh, in uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, fourth position from the right. Uh, uh, here is implied the radix point. Uh, so the very first one is a uh, 1 times uh, radix to the 4 power. So radix is to, to, to the fourth power, which is 16 in decimal value. And the second one is 1 times 2 to the 3, which is 8. And the third digit is 0, and the fourth digit is 1, and that one is 1 times 2 to the 1. The last digit is 0, is 0, 0 times 2 to the 0. So if we add all those up, then 26. So 11010 in binary number is the same as 26 in decimal number.